to Get to Know Your County Commissioner. I'm Bianca Hanlon. Joining us today is Miami-Dade County District 10 Commissioner Senator Javier Soto and Miami-Dade College President Madeline Pumariega to discuss how Miami-Dade College impacts our community. Welcome to you both. Senator, how important is Miami-Dade College and the success of its students for our community? Well, Miami, Miami-Dade College, it's one of the most important things that we have in in this community of Miami or Miami-Dade County. Miami-Dade College is such a wonderful place with all their campuses and all their different uh, specialties or degrees that they comfort, that they uh, give to the students. Mm, that um, the good that this institution has given our county, uh, uh, it's very difficult to say, uh, very difficult to really determine because it's, it's outstanding in every single way. And how important is the veterinary technician program? How have you been able to partner with them? One of, one of the departments that this community college has a very successful one, by the way, um, and with a, a an outstanding number of females, um, is the veterinary technicians department. I think that they produce most of the technicians that are used in, in these areas of uh, South Florida. They also send, or some of them, decide to go to veterinary schools. And God knows that we need good veterinarians, especially for the bigger animals. We have a lot of horses in this country and in Florida. Uh, we have uh, nowadays lots of bulls, cows, pigs, and other animals that are used in our nutrition. And these animals need veterinarians, absolutely. Veterinarians are not only for dogs and cats and, and small pets. Veterinarians are very important in other uh, types of animals that are crucial to our nutrition. And that's, that's why I'm saying that the importance of veterinarians for big animals is every day more and more crucial to our population. Senator, you have been a supporter of Miami-Dade College for many years. Tell us about the various college programs you have assisted and supported in the past. Well, I, as a matter of fact, I started my education in the USA. I was coming from Cuba uh, back in the 60s when the college was beginning. I attended briefly, I think I was there uh, probably only a couple of semesters from there I went to UM and I went to the first campus they had it was a north campus to what, what today is a north campus and it was such an, a marvelous experience for me from the very beginning I fell in love this with this college and what they have done over the years and I have to commend highly commend uh, all the people that have participated uh, and, and all the people guiding this college over the years and and all the all the good professors that have passed by uh, there there's many so i don't want to incur in any forgetting on on, on my part but i i think they, they they've been wonderful all of them i want to render my humble um recognition to these individuals who have given guidance 
and taking this college to the very, very high position that this college has nowadays, in not only in, in America, but in the world. Because I have met people here, students coming from all the countries, students who have uh, remained uh, uh, as, as good American citizens in different professions, in nursing, in, in, in engineering, in, in, in the arts, in other things. So I, I have helped the college, not, all, not also in the veterinary sciences, but uh, very much so in the uh, general aspect of the college. Because, for instance, I remember when I was in the Senate, I, uh, um, in, the, in the Florida Senate, as a state senator, they, they were going to open the, the Homestead campus. And, but they didn't have the money to open, and they were uh, desperate, looking for money, the, the last days of the session. And it goes really wild in Tallahassee in those uh, uh, last days of the session. And they came to me, the lobbies came to me, and their, their representative and, and, and said, uh, uh, Senator, you, we, we, we're going to open the Homestead campus, and we don't have money, and we need money. And I said, let me see what I can do. And I was able to get them $90,000. With those $90,000, uh, uh, I remember that the, the vice president of the, of the college was around there. And he came and he was so, so appreciative, so thankful. Because I found that money and they, they could open. They opened the Homestead campus. The Homestead, the Homestead campus is one of the most important campuses they have today, this college, where they have the School of Aviation. The School of Aviation, as a matter of fact, there's a big, there's a big write-up in in this, in this uh, last publication of the Miami, uh, Miami Dade College uh, newspaper, uh, um, and and it's here in front page, is the the, the, the Homestead campus and the, their participation in aviation, the importance of of uh, what they have done over the years, in in aviation, so. I have helped the, the college in, in many ways, and, and uh, I, I think they're wonderful in every single way. Over the years, I've been raising monies for them uh, through the county, uh, in, in my position as county commissioner, uh, in my position also in, in the Senate, I was able, and in the, in the Florida House of Representatives, I was able to obtain monies for them. Uh, they have put those monies to very good use. Also, I started a, a something called the Francis, Francisco Foundation, which is a foundation that uh, it, it uh, uh, raised money for education uh, in, in uh, colleges and universities. And it's been Miami-Dade College, the main, the main um, higher education institution getting those monies. The, the, I'm happy to say that the Francisco Foundation over the year has raised uh, uh, significant, significant monies that have uh, helped young students to become professionals. And, uh, uh, and this foundation has been in action for the last, I believe, close to 20 years, raising monies for this wonderful school called the Miami-Dade College. Ms. Bumariega, how do you see the future of the college and what plans do you have for the next few years? I think that the future of Miami-Dade College is bright. It is going to continue to be the community's college, a place of opportunity and hope for everyone in our community, that you can come to Miami-Dade, get on a path to meet your career and academic goals, uh, be ready for the future of work that is upon us. Um, I believe the college will, will continue to be a leader in cultural programming through our Miami Book Fair, Miami Film Festival, through our museum, and we'll continue to be collaborators and conveners of our community and supporting whether it's small businesses, entrepreneurship, technology, um, again serving as the community's college. I want to, I want to commend the, the new president, uh, Dr. Pumariega, and, and uh, uh, all the professors, directors, uh, all the staff around here in this superb institution 
called Miami-Dade College. Famous, famous in America, famous in the world, um, that has produced so many professionals and so many, so many individuals who help move our country, not only, not only our community and our county and our state up, but our country, the USA, up, up to the very important position that we have in the world nowadays, uh, number one in the world. I, I want to commend, I want to applaud, I want to, I want, I want to say thank you Thank you from my part and, and from our part in, in, uh, in this Miami-Dade County where we live and work and also as, as, a, as, as a Floridian, as an American, as a human being, I want to say thank you. Thank you very much uh, for all you do, uh, Dr. Pumariega, staff, and everybody participating here, the board and everybody else. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's all the time we have today. Thank you both again for joining us and for highlighting the importance of Miami-Dade College in our community. For more information on county programs or services, call 311 or visit miamidade.gov and be sure to connect with us on social media. I'm Bianca Hanlon. Thanks for watching.